It's actually a fascinating project in terms of history because it has a lifespan of 40 years, so for decades the artist is organizing these garage shades. Well, it ranges from low to medium to high to capricious. And it's intended to make people react in one way or another. I'm an artist and um, I'm been um, a fan of Martha Rausler's work. I think it's an exciting use of this space and it's like interesting to compare with like maybe like Marina Abramovich's piece where she was the artist is present and then like to have Martha Rausler present here in this totally different way. I didn't get to haggle with her though because what I bought wasn't expensive enough. Things that I didn't think people would be interested in like the political material they do want to buy or want to know the story of and it was done by my group, Artists Against the War, and I'm just the keeper of the quilt, and I wouldn't dream of selling it. I wanted to um, buy some things for my friends to, as a present, uh, which also love Marcha. This, for example, and uh, our favorite ones, that. And I love the combination of museum, but as well uh, the inclusion of, of people. Uh, we're from San Francisco and we're visiting, well, he got a car and a truck and he got to see the big black car and the little green tractor. If you think what the museum in fact is, it's a repository of our culture through artifacts of objects we believe have a certain value and for that reason we feel it's important to preserve them. So bringing in these everyday objects and making people buying them is of course a radical change of the museum as such because the museum usually preserves objects and doesn't distribute objects. Everything is like this for me. I have to distance myself from everything. Though there are things, one or two things that as they were about to leave, I...